Hi, Concerns. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. This is amazing. It is uh, the uh, Eclipse Special Edition. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be very interesting for the concern because this is the Lunar Eclipse. Yes. So for people who are wondering, um, you can get your chart in the description box. You can get um, an interpretation. What's your chart? A prediction? Six months to one year. You can um, check it down below. Okay. Now, once I start doing the astrology part over here, um, your main concern should be first to um, find out what your dasha and your antar dasha. And that's the only time that you can watch transit reports. Or um, if you know already, then that's good um, because the transit uh, will come at least like in the fourth part. Okay? Your dasha, your antar dasha first. And then, you know, you have other things to consider. Your atma, highest degree. And then this also, of course, the transit. Now an eclipse is different. Uh, it's not a it's not a transit transit, but it is uh, it is an energy that creates such an impact in the whole world and also us. Okay, um, if you are in a moon dasha, K two dasha, moon K two, K two moon, Rahu moon, Rahu Rahu, because this is the nodes affecting, of course, our past and our future. K two is our past and Rahu is our future. That's why there are things during eclipse that has to be let go and let God and then move forward. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. I'm going to also do a crystal recommendation here that you can you can wear for the next three to five months or have uh, as far as like your man, what, what you're manifesting. So for the Cancerian, this is going to be 9.11 p.m. Um, can be seen in California. I believe it can be seen everywhere also. It's going to be this Sunday, May 15. Happens night time. Mm -hmm. This is the time where you will feel a sense of mixed emotions about your life. Um, the moon is in Scorpio and it is debilitated in Scorpio. So you may find yourself... Um, in a difficult position with what makes you happy. A finding of a sole purpose. Uh, when I do Eclipse, it's uh, deeper than usual. Um, a sole purpose on what can you do to make yourself be seen as the person who you really are. Because remember, this is the lunar. You are ruled by the moon. So you want to express your feelings to everyone that you have loved. You may feel this urge of I want to call them, text them, this and that. You may also have the urge to like build something or try something that you haven't tried before. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're trying to catch up with your childhood. Trying to catch up with lost time. Trying to catch up with experiencing life to the fullest. So it can be going to a restaurant, going out on road trips. Um, things that you never really get a chance. Mm. This is the time where you feel like this is an opportunity for you to do so. Now, this is also unlocking um, the ancestor's lock for you. This is the house of mantra, which is fifth house. So this day, I would suggest for you to re um, recite your prayers. You have access to all the links of your basically lineage. And the luck that they're going to give to you, I feel, um, for others, you know, you're praying to have a baby. This is fifth house progeny. This may be the time for you to pray, not to, con not to consummate though. But during this time, this is in Vishaka Nakshatra, and it is auspicious for intimacy, and fifth house is also that casual connection. But the way I see this is uh, like manifesting to give birth. It can be to give birth to an idea, to a business, um, start investing. 
in the next three to five months, you will feel this energy of like, I want to do this for myself so that I can uh, grow. Mm -hmm. So you're doing more of the I. This is about the I. You and Scorpio will probably have that because in Scorpio, that's your ascendant. For you, this is your Lagna Lord. Mm -hmm. But when your Lagna Lord is in debilitation, then it can also bring some health issues. So be careful of what you eat. Be careful of you know how you know like stress because the moon can be very stress here. It feels like it's drowning, and so in the deepest part of the ocean with Scorpio. So you may feel that. So try not to stress about certain things. Meditate, and really just focus. Read a book. Read a book always helps also, or listen to music. Mm -hmm. That way, they can you can alleviate what is uh, causing the issues inside your mental health. Okay, so let's start with the crystal recommendation. Okay, let me see if I have it at the store. I'll create a special collection in the description. If not, we shall see. Okay, let's see here. Turquoise. Ooh, we do have turquoise. Interesting. Because I know a Cancerian who is looking for a turquoise. Okay. Now, I believe the turquoise... Um, uh, I feel like a birdstone wise this is Sag, right? Okay. Um, uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm connecting this to K2. Mm -hmm. uh, which is the uh, south node. Which is ancestors, also. Now it's a teal blue color. I feel like it is reflective of Venus, because uh, deep dark blue is Saturn, and Venus is the teal, the Tiffany blue. That's why Tiffany, uh, you know, has this power with women. Okay, to ask men to buy it. <laughs> of course, women can buy it on their own. I'm just saying. Okay, it's very Venusian. Mm. Now, Venus for you is happening in the ninth house, which is, um, again, another opportunity, luck, you know, call it Bhagya. If it's ruler of the ninth and Jupiter is in the ninth, then you can definitely channel your luck by using turquoise. Okay. Because Venus is there. But Jupiter is uh, yellow sapphire uh, in that hue. Okay. Now, I'm going to read also the crystal here. I see a road map, so that means a road travel. Before I started to row, I used to interpret just the crystal cards because we didn't have budget yet. <laughs> I was a baker. I was a baker. Okay, and still am. Okay, I do look baked though sometimes. Circa 2021 when I bake my fa my face. Oh. <laughs> so here we go. Um, road map, travel, okay, to an island. I see, I see an island over here, so it must be a mini getaway. Mm -hmm. I see swimming over here, so it might be going out on an outing. And you guys are going to have fun, which is good. I see here some sort of veins, so you may need some checkup with the doctor, okay? Something related to someone's pancreas, okay? I don't like it when I go for health, but that's what the message is, so I know what is pancreas and veins, okay? Um, it does look like there is a divide in the family, is what I'm seeing. It does look like um, expenses are going high in different direction. There's a short-term travel over here by the beach. Something about oval or oblong. <laughs> Why does it have to be oblong? Oval. <laughs> I know what's what's that for, but you know. Um, your advice also to take. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Okay. 
but um, contraception or contraceptive or protection. Okay. So protection doesn't just come from um, obsidian. It can also be a rubber form. Okay. <laughs> so if you don't want unexpected, of course, pregnancy. Okay. So we don't give our moms a heart attack. <laughs> because another grandchild. <laughs> so here we go. That I have to raise. Okay. Do we know the father this time? Mom. Okay. Oh, it's okay. I don't need to ask. It's okay. I just welcome our new grandchild. It's a twins. <laughs> so it's easy to know who the father is if it's twins because it's in their genetics. So just go to your phone book. <laughs> Check who has a twin. <laughs> okay, here we go. The energy is mellow. Okay, just in case are wondering. Mm. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Definitely you. Okay. So the first card is strongest and you're coming out as your true self. The I. The I... I, the last alas. No, it's not. Ace of Cups, uh, Queen of Cups over here with a star card. Two of Wands, Nine of Cups. Oh, wow. And I said Ace of Cups. Mm. I feel like the concerns are finding true love. Uh. Mm -mm Oh, I don't do reversals. I just haven't fixed it. Okay. Let's stay second day just. My Chang'e card is here, so you're going to be shopping in a bazaar. Okay. okay. How bizarre? How bizarre? <laughs> it's a bazaar, not bizarre sell. Okay. Well, either or. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Cups in the Nine of Pentacles, independent, you know, you're doing your moon bath here, cleansing, sound bowl. Um, you're reaching, I feel like, you're reaching out to people, but more in a friendly way. You're in a good space now. You're happy. You're content. Um, it feels like you learn how to manage your emotion and feelings. Once you are able to handle that, you I mean the discipline, you know, the sorry guys, I, I went outside to the heat and then the heat exhausted me. Okay. The Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, it feels like you're manifesting healing for yourself. Ooh, golly. <laughs> I think the angels are waking me up. <laughs> Just Google reminding me about my password. Yes. So you're in a good space now. You've done your healing. And you wake up inspired, not expired. Oh, okay, good. Maybe connecting with an Aries. The Aries is a very, very emotional read. All right. The star card and uh, six of cups. You could miss someone who has uh, passed away already. Who is not here with you. For some, it is a pet. For some, it is a human. Mm. For others, you're wishing that it's your ex. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't wish ill to our ex. <laughs> yeah, I miss. I'll miss you when you're on the other side. <laughs> Six of cups with a star card. You're wishing right now that they're in the other side. <laughs> no, no, it's not. So that you can sing hello from the other side. You just want to have an Adele moment. Oh, okay. The star with the six of cups, you wish that you can find someone that appreciates you, that loves you, that cares for you. This is, look at the star. She is so hopeful. Like, you know, she's doing the when you wish upon a star. Yes. Yes. 
But you always get the she bangs, she bangs. Wake up in the move, she moves. So, so you're wishing right now for, I have to say it, a little bit vanilla kind of relationship. I just want it that it just works, you know. So it's like you're going to go to I don't know, some store, Best Buy or Target, and you're just, you know, you're buying a vacuum, okay. And you're going to ask a salesman, I just want it to suck. <laughs> you know, meaning to have a good performance. <laughs> so, like, I just want it to work. You know, that's what you're asking. I don't care what kind of vacuum it is, but I just want it to perform, you know, to expectation on what the label is saying. Because vacuums can be so complicated. Mm -hmm. I look at vacuums, they're like, man, okay, either they're working or it sucks. <laughs> and then... You cannot return it. <laughs> so, mm. so get go get yourself a Dyson. Okay, <laughs> not sponsored. So, mm. Let's see. Two of Wands with the full card. All right. So, the concerns right now are just a wandering spirit. Okay. A wandering spirit of sort. Doing their, their, their crystal work with the grid, you know. Experiencing life, just looking at through the window and saying it's like someday, you know, someday. So it feels like there is some restriction right now in your life that you cannot push through. Okay. You have the eight of cups and the nine of cups. It took you a lot of courage to find yourself and to walk away from a relationship. Yeah, I don't know how people do that. I mean, how do you walk away from it? I don't know. I've never walked away. They always walk away. I made sure they walk away because I can't. Okay. Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, it's like I've been more happy and emotionally fulfilled ever since that you said enough is enough. And the Eight of Cups is that card. Excuse me, guys. Ace of Cups with the Two of Swords. It does look like um, this is a process for you to like when you when you're not expecting, which is so true. That's when you get pregnant. <laughs> when you're not expecting, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting so. Well, you might get pregnant. Just saying. When you're not expecting, that's really when you find love. Mm -hmm. That is true. Okay. Mm. I can uh, what do you call? I can stand uh, what do you call it in the front and then make a testament about finding love. Okay. We also don't expect it when you find them cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you gonna do me dirty? You're gonna find love, not cheating. Okay. <laughs> so a lot of things we find unexpected. <laughs> okay. The lipstick, the hair, the perfume. Whose note is that? That's not my underwear. Well, why is the car seat all the way back? I was the last one to sit here. And I know Johnny, your best friend, okay, doesn't sit this way, so why? <laughs> A lot of things in life we find unexpected. Here we go. Let's see. For my conscience. This is the ultimate spread. Oh, so let's see. So I get four cards for each. The flip side of what you are manifesting concern. Okay. Finding true love is the Ace of Cups here. And it's it's unexpected. Mm -hmm. Finally, like, the wish. Because Saturn is not there anymore in your 7th house. Every time there's a transit or there's something, like, big on the 7th house. Oh, shh. It's just so difficult to establish a relationship or a connection. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't really think about relationship anymore. Like, I just, like, oh, all right, all right, that's good, you know. But expectation-wise, you know, I'd rather, so, you know, save the world from hunger, you know, and run for Miss Universe. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. I can run for Miss Universe Apocalypse Edition. Like when the universe <laughs> comes to second judgment. So, yes. Okay, here we go. Mm. I'm just making, you know, making this light. You know, I like that. Mm -hmm. So let's go for your person. Mm. You'll find love now. This is the moment. You're not attached to anyone. 
Mm. I feel like the universe has heard or have heard your prayers, which is good. Because normally this comes when you are really not attached with anyone. Page of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, The Judgment, A Divorcee, Someone Who Travels, Someone Who Likes To Do Business, Be Younger, You Meet On A Vacation, The Sun Card, Out On A Few Drinks, A Little Bit Dancing, Dancing In The Moonlight. Mm -hmm. That's my mood for the eclipse. Very light, no frustration. Uh, plus, I stay away from people. <laughs> That's the only way I can survive this. If you are around people and Mercury's in retrograde, I'm not even going for you. I'm just doing it. Ooh, child. <laughs> Anything is like a spark of like gas, you know. And it's not even your ex narcissist who's gaslighting you, you know. It's just like a spark. Okay, here we go. Let's see. The person that you're connecting with is uh, can be younger than you who has this wonderful energy of just giving you attention and you know because this is what you know a lot of people of course like they want attention you know just to know if you know if they're thinking about you you know like that so this person is sensitive and they would let you know it's like hey think about you you know is a page of cups in the sun. Um, it feels like they have good upbringing. Mm -hmm. If there's an upbringing, is there a down brought? <laughs> down brought? Because <laughs> bringing in brought? Because <laughs> there's always an opposite. <laughs> so the person comes from good family reputation with the sun. Um, I don't think this person has ever, like, kind of. Experience hardship in life. Maybe a spoiled brat. No, just letting you know. Because uh, it does look like born, you know, with a... If it's not 18 carat gold spoon or a silver spoon, it's at least 14 carat. <laughs> so they are a little bit um, entitled and sporty. Okay. Loves to go, uh, go on vacations and trips. You know, very traveler kind. Enjoys good drinks and company. You know, person loves, again, sports. And I feel like they love betting in games. So they are spoiled. Oh, because they got money to burn. Betting. Really? <laughs> Bet mo pasal. Mm. Here we go. Um, they're a bit insensitive on your feelings. Uh, sometimes they forget that to invite you or to text you or to inform you with what they're doing. So there's that disconnect. Oh. Sometimes you're not happy with the connection. You got a six of pentacles here and the moon. You'll feel like you're so you're really drowning here and like not really drowning okay? <laughs> cuz she looks like she's drowning. Like you feel like I'm slowly falling in love and connecting with the person. Uh, with the six of pentacles, it feels like communication comes through. I mean, you have the sun and the moon here, so definitely eclipse season. Mm. Four of Pentacles with a judgment. They're saving money right now for to buy a house. It looks like it to relocate. Um, they're also trying um, their best to where do where do they want to go? Because they want themselves to move out or to move to a different place. Uh, for some, they're living in the desert. Okay, All right. what's this? Chalamet in June? <laughs> so, are you are you dating? <laughs> Okay. Um, the Empress and the Ten of Wands. Ah, this is the pregnancy. Be careful. Okay. If you don't want to get pregnant, here it is. The pregnancy card. And it's in the Ace of Cups. So you might get accidentally, you know, like you didn't plan for it. And now this is the moving in together. It's like, well, you're pregnant, so let's get married. You know, this and that. Empress and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Um, let's go for your grand review. Okay. And then we'll get your soulmate message. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Well, they're very ecstatic with the connection also here. They're very excited. This is what I'm feeling for them. Um, I don't sense like any problem between the two of you, to be honest. Yeah. The only thing I see here is that there's no obstacle. It's just a matter of time, you know, when this person surfaces to your life and really makes and builds a bond with you. Mm -hmm. Really nice, actually. Okay, because you have... This is when, again, the least you expect, you know. It's basically just like Notting Hill, you know. You're just buying a book. Okay. And then it was a cookbook sale. <laughs> Julia Childs. <laughs> Here we go. So it was actually oh, air fryer. <laughs> oh, so you're a cook. Okay. Air fryer. Here we go. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay? So if there's any doubt that you have right now, I don't sense that. And, you know, like you prayed for this. You manifest. You're bringing this to reality. You are... The star card here, which you're realizing your soul purpose, so which is good. Normally, when you tap into your soul purpose, kind of like everything in life just starts to make sense and just, you know, the ducks in a row again. These ducks today are always in a row. I've used it for all my readings. Where is the doctor quack quack? Okay, all the ducks are in a row, which is good. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading. Grand reveal is there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And get the turquoise. That's the crystal recommendation for you guys. It's going to be in the description box below. I'll make a eclipse collection for you. But you can't get it until after the eclipse. I'm just letting you know. Okay? So, turquoise is the key okay, for this eclipse for you guys. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.